What's going on guys, Travis with REC Garage, and in this video, I'm gonna be shaving and peaking a 1932 Ford grill. So let's get into that. I'm gonna be shaving and peaking a 32 grill today. Uh, but first I wanna get into kind of what's going on and what you may or may not see in the coming weeks. Um, my wife is 39 weeks pregnant at this point right now. So by the time this airs, um, I either have a new baby boy or she's about to pop. Things are getting a little crazy around here and my workload is like this high right now um, i got a ton of things going on all right i got the sedan delivery i need to finish up and there's still a lot of work to be done to it and i need to just jam and get it done um, i made a lot of progress last time and i want to continue that momentum on the car when i get to it again want to get to it soon i have the grill i need to peak and shave uh, i got some chevy pickup fenders that need a lot of work that's another kind of favor for a friend i have i think a 50 seven bel air or something like that it's another kind of favor thing i need to roll the fenders on it and obviously my new baby boy coming which is exciting and everything is just kind of piling on top and i want to get everything done but at the same time when he comes i know i'm not really going to be able to get much done for a few weeks at least maybe three so i have a lot and on top of all of those things we have another big customer project that just came in that you are sitting on top of right now. So I'll show you. It is a real deal 36 true Roadster. Enough rambling, let's get that 32 grill shell off of there and let's peek it, shave it, get it done. Wow, that's a really nice shell. I wish it was mine, but it's not. This is like the same condition of the shell that I get screwed on over the internet. Definitely not the same one, but same condition, which kind of aggravates me. So what do I mean when I say shaved and peaked? Shave, as in we're shaving this hole, make it nice and smooth, and then we're gonna make a peak down the center of the grill. So there was some repairs done to the nose. I feel and I see bumps. On this side but I don't feel any on the other side so I don't know if there's Bondo over there I gotta figure that out first things first I'm gonna cut this out because I can't really fit up my little patch that I'm gonna make here because this sticks out too much and it's just gonna be in the way of finding out if my patch sits flush on this on all surfaces that it needs to match up to so that's in the way so we're gonna cut that out first and then uh, we'll get going on the patch and I'm not sure yet if I want to peek the patch I'm making before I weld it in, or if I want to weld it in and, uh, and then peak it. Because there's a, there's a method I've seen that you make this like a, this jig out of round rod, two pieces that match the curvature from here all the way down the center to the back here. And then from the inside, you take a rounded over chisel so it doesn't cut the metal and you slowly hammer it into the two round bars so it it peaks itself in there. I might actually do that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that because then it'll show you guys how to do this at home and not with me making a fancy die on my pull max and then I can just stamp them out. Most of you guys can't do that because you don't have one of those. This is something easy enough that you can do by hand that I am, I'm just gonna do it that way. I'm gonna make a patch. Yeah, I'll use some fancy tools. Not even that, not even that fancy, but I'll use some tools to get the shape I want and then we'll peak it using that, using that method. So you guys can do it at home if you want to. All right, so I started off shaping this a little bit. I shrunk the edges here because it kind of tightens up as it comes over here. So this is kind of starting to take shape. I'll cut this out and uh, finish shaping this up. But I just kind of was messing around the other day and this is what I started with. And I think I'm gonna continue with this piece, make it fit right there. Here's something I didn't think I was gonna do today. I knew I was gonna do something like this, but this pains me to do it. That was a dull 
bit. Well, we've got a hole in it. Hmm. This doesn't sound that happy. Should probably give him a drink. See my new rug? Nice happy. Happy rug. Keep my feet nice and happy. All right. Hey. There it is. <laughs> Done. No. Now I need to get my piece. Nice and shaped up here. Oh no. Made the hole too big. Guess I just need another piece. Okay, no big deal. Do a little test piece here. This is what I got with my three inch radius it's a little much so I think I'm going to tone it down and go with the six I don't know if I can just do that never had to do this before go down in radius so uh, yeah let's see if that can see if it'll work I think it might So once I do this and I get it where I want it, you know, I can um, I can cut a bigger piece, do it to the bigger piece. So I don't think that changed much. So I think I have to uh, crank down. same you know let me try a different dice this one might do it the nine might do it I went from three to six now to nine niner okay goes away three yeah, three six nine this a little better we'll see how it looks thought but I wanted to be safe okay I like the way most of that fits so I'm gonna leave that
Got this piece shaped up. See how it's got the uh, high spot right in the center here, which is like the nose. Hey, nice finish on that panel here. So, that. That's going right there. You know, now I gotta trace out the, uh, the shell. Well, I'll strip the shell dike it, trace it out, cut it out, and we'll uh, tack this bad boy in here. There wasn't Bondo here. It was just um, some hammer dolly, maybe bullseye pick, and a file. There's some thin spots here that, you know, I guess I'm not afraid of it, but it's not the greatest. I would like to have seen the planished out instead of, it was some heavy filing kind of thinned out the metal here. I think it'll be all right. It's gonna go in here, scribe it out. Everyone always yells at me for not using any dicum. Here it is, guys. Here's the dicum. Layout fluid, whatever you wanna call it. Here it is. I'm hopefully going to put this on for the last time. So when you're cutting scribe line, it's very important that you take your time. Because that is the exact point where all this stuff happens. You don't want gaps, you don't, don't want too tight, you know, you want it perfect. So just deep breaths, cut right on the line. Alright, so I got the whole cut out and I have my filler cut out. All right, so it sits in there nice. Can't wait to uh, get the planishing hammer on this thing to smooth everything out after I'm done welding. That'll be fun. So now it is time to clean this up. I'll clean the backside because there's paint on the backside. Then I will weld this filler in and then smooth it out. Then we peak it. That's gonna be the... Great. All right, now that that's bent, tacked on so I like it this kind of shrunk right here so I'm gonna have to planish that out make it more of a, a hump there so let's hit that on the planishing hammer fully weld it planish it again and start making the jig for the peak <music> So I just finished off planishing that out. As you can see, it looks real nice. See the side there, there's a peak at the top. I, I stretched some more metal kind of up here in this area because it's going to get kind of peaked. I want to have a little extra material there. Um, I don't know if that's good, bad, ugly. We'll figure it out. I think it looks good. This is welded up. Uh, there was a bigger gap than I wanted to have on a few places. I had to add some boogers, but you know, I've seen worse.
so as you can see I got it all shaved looks mighty fine if you ask me so now I need to make the uh, the jig to peak it but that's another day got caught up doing some things making some phone calls today but next time I'm in here it will get peaked this is what sucks about having like two hours after work to get stuff done by the time I get in here get situated start doing some work I gotta go inside and go to bed so I need to go part-time or quit my job I can do it all right so now that the patch is done it's all welded in nice and good I need to create this profile with these with these rods I gotta curve the rods around pretty much the center of this grill I'm gonna take two of the rods and pretty much weld them close together like that with a small gap probably even smaller like that on the grill here you see how there's a space there so when I hit the bottom with this punch kind of just took a bit of flat bar put it put a taper on the end and uh, just kind of sand it off so it's, it's blunt it's not sharp at all because if it's sharp it'll cut through the metal and you don't want that it's gonna hit from the backside on my other line that's there and it will put an impression of each side of the tube of this bar I I don't know so hard to explain things sometimes so these two tubes are like this welded together at the top and the sheet metal is here so when I smash it from the bottom it'll go up like this and over there it'll make a peak so if you didn't understand it I hope that clarified it and now watch me hopefully not mess up this grill and have to do it again let's go Alright, so it is peaked as you can tell came out nicely I did uh, fine-tune it afterwards with uh, just a bunch of rags stacked up I had this upside down on it and I uh, just lightly tapped away tapped away until I got what I needed you really don't need to go down a lot uh, if you go too deep uh, it might look like a bead I know from experience so all you gotta do is lightly hit it there and uh, you get just that crease that's all you're looking for you're not looking for a uh, a deep well I wasn't looking for it um, I was just kind of looking for a, a slight slight crease to make it look like there's one plane and two planes that's what I was looking for so this is done all right, so that's it that's all I got that's how you shave and peak a 32 grill um, you can do it to the repops. Some of the repops have the shaved radiator cap holes. Um, if you want to shave and peak it, might as well start with one of those. Unless you want an original grill, then you shave it, then peak it. But no one's really going to know the difference. If you don't feel like spending $2,500 on a nice grill, just get those eBay ones. They're okay. Shaved, peaked. I don't know if you can tell. It's hard when it's all fresh metal. But uh, looks good. Matt likes it. I texted him what he wanted so that's always good um i actually got a text to see if he wants this hole filled up but you guys don't need to see that there it is much better that looks awesome i really need one of these for my car